Hello everyone, welcome to our talk. Now I'll present our paper titled Disentangled Image Coloration via Global Anchors. The success of deep learning enables image coloration to be performed fully automatically. By utilizing the prior knowledge from large-scale dataset, the coloration model knows the color of various objects. For example, the sky is mostly blue, the trees are green, and the horses are generally brown. Anyway, there are still many objects that are potentially with multiple colors, such as the coat the girl was wearing. It could be red, blue, violet, or other possible colors. Such color multimodality tends to confuse the model and cause averaged color or spatial inconsistency. To tackle this problem, existing works fell into three categories. The early attempts to formulate the image coloration as a regression task. Some follow-ups proposed to use explicit semantics to get the color prediction. Along with the technical updating, advanced network designs like self-retention and GAN are also employed to promote the performance. This method has been improving the coloration continuously, but they still fail to bypass the barrier of color ambiguity and tend to cause desaturated results because regression models cannot handle multimodal problem. Instead, probability model based methods predict the color distribution rather than deterministic colors. Gaussian mixture modeling over image colors is only feasible to cat category specific things because the limited expressivity. Differently, per pixel color classification can model the color distribution sufficiently, but it faces challenges to make spatially consistent color sampling. One step further, the autoregressive model can model the per pixel color distribution and the inter pixel dependence simultaneously. So, this kind of method sometimes achieves very impressive results. However, because of the fragility of sequential dependence, they struggle to maintain the long distance color consistency. So existing work seems not address automatic coloration effectively. According to our observation, visually plausible images should be colorful and spatial consistent. However, these two features may interfere with each other. On the one hand, colorfulness requires the correct modeling of multimodal colors, which tends to disturb spatial consistency. On the other, the spatial consistency requirements encourage average the color and harms color vividness. Motivated by this, we propose to disentangle the color multimodality and spatial consistency via global color anchors, so that both aspects can be achieved effectively. To this end, we propose a disentangled coloration model composed of two separate branches. They are anchor-based color modeling and anchor-guided color generation. Specifically, given a grayscale input, we first extract the backbone feature that is tokenized through the superpixel-based pooling. Then, through the anchor-based color modeling, we get the color anchors that represent the color distribution of the whole image in a sparse manner. By sampling colors from these anchors as hints, the anchor-guided color generation makes the final colorized result, which is free of color ambiguity. Here is a diagram of anchor-based color modeling. Given the tokenized backbone feature, we employ the probabilistic color modeler to predict the per pixel color distribution PS here, which is denoted by the 
need probabilities of quantized colors of the gamut. Then the learned deep features are explored by the anchor locator to generate a mask, MS here. That indicates the location of the selected anchors. So with the PS and MS, we can get the multimodal colors of the anchors. So what do we do in the anchor locator? Basically, the anchor, color anchors are required to represent the color distribution of the whole image. So the anchors should be located to achieve global coverage. And we further encourage the anchors to be color independent so that we can sample their colors individually. We propose to locate the, these anchors by taking the centers of color clusters. In particular, the feature of the color modeler are used for clustering, which is believed to be color related. This example evidences the clustering similarity of the learned features and the ground truth color. And we can see here the stars mark the located, the located color anchors. With the anchor-based multimodal colors, we can sample colors from each anchor independently. Conditioning on the specified anchor colors, the color generator predicts the four colors by utilizing the internal affinity. In addition, we further employ the refine net to correct possible artifacts under the guidance of luminance glue. All the components are trained jointly. Both the color modeling and the conditional color generation are trained under the cross entropy laws with respect to the GT color. And the color refinement is supervised under the perception laws with respect to the GT color. Note that during training, we deliberately assign the anchors with GT color so that the GT color can be used as valid supervision. Let's see some results. Here are two examples comparing with the state-of-the-art regression-based methods. As explained earlier, regression model suffers from color multimodality and tended to generate desaturated colors. In contrast, our method achieves both colorful and spatial consistent results, which is attributed to the disentangled model. Probabilistic model-based me methods has no desaturation problem. However, spatial inconsistency is commonly induced because of the ignored or weak spatial constraint. Here are colorized the results of real-world legacy grayscale photos. Still, the two regression-based methods induce artifacts like desaturated effects and the inconsistent colors. Anyway, the autoregressive model-based method, Coltrane here, achieved relatively colorful results, but the performance is unstable. Some regions even fail to be colorized. Notably, only our method generated visually plausible results. We make a quantitative evaluation on the ImageNet, Coco Staff, and a real-world legacy photo dataset. As the fidelity metrics do not really reflect the quality of coloration, we emphasize the perceptual metrics. Comparing to existing methods, our method shows consistent superiority in perceptual metric. Thanks to the anchor-based color representation, we can control the coloration by manipulating the anchors. Besides of automatic coloration, we can get diverse results. 
by sampling different colors on the anchors. We can even add or remove the automatically predicted anchors to achieve more preferred results. To study the necessity of disentangled structure, we construct a baseline by removing the anchor-based color modeling branch. That means no color anchors will be used. And as expected, this baseline suffers from color ambiguity and causes desaturated colors, just like existing regression models. So we are interested to study the role of color refinement. Two baselines are constructed. The one uses no refinement and the other separates the refine net from the model and adopt it as a post-processing. We find that the baseline with no refinement induces local artifacts and the post-refinement baseline can only address the artifacts mildly. Instead, our four methods can correct such artifacts more effectively. We further explore how the number of anchors affect the result. According to the statistics of coloration quality against the anchor numbers, we can observe that as more anchors are used, the colorfulness turns better while the FID gets inferior. This example may in indicate the explanation. Using more anchor anchors could introduce more diverse color components and thus increases colorfulness. But this also means higher probability of inducing contradictory color guidance, which damages perceptual realism and hence increases FID. The main limitation of our method comes from the local anchor location. For example, when the input image has objects unseen from training set, the learned color feature could be less distinguishable, which can make the anchor location unreliable. Besides, our method may generate desaturated colors when the anchor failed to represent the color distribution of a complex scene. At last, the number of anchors have to be preset empirically, which introduces the trade-off issue. In summary, we propose a disentangled coloration method that achieves the multimodal colors and the spatial consistency effectively. It pushes the state-of-the-art performance notably, especially in the case of color ambiguity. Also, our anchor-based coloration allows both automatic and controllable coloration with a one single trend model. Thanks for your attention and welcome to check our project page.